hi welcome to onyx food hill in this video i'm going to show you how to make a goosey soup please at the end of this video i want you to subscribe to this channel a goosey soup is very simple and easy to prepare and here are few ingredients for preparing this i have here assorted meats i have here a blended egusi egusi is also called melon so this is melon seed and also fish and i have bitter leaf blended crayfish onions and one seasoning cube so to make this soup the first thing you do is to season your meat with onions pepper and some seasoning cubes which I have already done I seasoned it with two seasoning cubes onions pepper and salt I will start by cooking the meat first once the meat is cooked I will also add the fish this crayfish was blended together with pepper and and a local ingredient called ope. Ope is made from locust beans. So let's continue. So after you have seasoned your meat, cook it on high heat. So I start. I use goat meat and stock fish, and and beef hide. You can make your own choice of meat. Once you have placed the meat on heat, cover it and let it cook on a high heat. This might take about 45 minutes for the meat to get cooked. I cut the bitter leaf earlier on, so I'm going to soak it with cold water, but you can use warm water just to loosen it up. Then keep that aside. So there are two ways of making a, a goosey soup. We have the caking method and also the frying method so i'm going to add this amount of water it's very small to soak the egusi so once the egusi is soaked i'm going to use my hands to mold it into smaller balls You can use a tablespoon to measure about two to three spoons of water into the egusi to soak it. So you have to be careful not to over soak it, even though it will become very watery. So this consistency is okay. I'll quickly mold the ground egusi into smaller balls into an empty bowl. An empty plate. You have to make sure the balls are not too big and they are not too small at the same time. So once you are done, you will keep this aside. So for my measurement, I used pig milk container to measure this. Two of the pig milk container to measure the ground the goosey. You can measure to your own quantity depending on the size of soup you want to prepare. Once you are done, keep this aside. If your egusi or melon pest becomes watery, you can add more ground egusi before you start molding it. And also you can place this in a fridge to sit until the time you want to use it. You also have to be checking the meat from time to time. And when you notice the water dry while the meat is not yet cooked, you can add more water to it. I'm adding about one cup of water to it. 
after 30 minutes of cooking my meat I'm going to add the fish into it and cook for 10 minutes if you are using dried or smoked fish you can add it here at this time once your meat is properly cooked and the fish also reduce the heat and transfer the meat into a bowl place an empty pot on it allow the pot to become dry add in three cooking spoons of palm oil into the pot and wait for 15 seconds once the oil has become translucent add half part of onions into it I'm going to remain some bring in the gusi you molded earlier on and drop them into the oil make sure you don't stir let this fry for about 10 minutes then each 5 minutes you have to turn it and let it fry also after 10 minutes of frying a goosey bring in the meat stock and add to the content let this simmer for 5 to 10 minutes on a medium heat while it boils some of the balls will dissolve in the in the pot but not to worry you will still have some remaining after 10 minutes add the remaining onions into the soup crayfish and pepper including the the local ingredients and one seasoning cube remember you've already seasoned your meat so you may not need salt anymore but you can still test for salt I won't stay it yet also bring in the meat you've kept aside and add into the content you can now gently stir the soup but you have to be careful so that the balls will not completely dissolve So many people enjoy a goosey soup, the cakey method. They love to chew the balls. You can see the balls were not totally dissolved. After stirring, let this cook for about 5 to 10 minutes. If your soup is too thick, you can add a little water to it. What makes this soup very delicious is the fact that I added crayfish, including the traditional ingredients. That's okpe. Okpe is made from locust beans. I've said that before. And also the addition of rich meat stock. So feel free to use any type of meat for this soup and also remember to add crayfish when you are cooking this. Squeeze out liquid from the bitter leaf you've soaked and kept. Once 10 minutes have reached, add the bitter leaf into it. Don't add it in one place, just spread it over the soup. Bitter leaf has a sweet and bitter taste. It contributes also to the, to the sweetness of this soup. You can use floated pumpkin in place of water leaf. And also you can use spinach if you want. So after adding the bitter leaf, you can stir the soup gently. soup is thick and very rich 
if you are the type that love much vegetable you can increase the quantity of bitter leaf or pumpkin leaf you add to this soup once the leaf is added you will leave this to cook for two minutes before bringing it up come back to this soup stir and also test for salt if you're okay with the test you can now put off heat and serve your igusi soup igusi soup is ready you can enjoy this with a bar semolina or with pounded yam thanks for watching this video it was nice having you around please remember to subscribe to this channel so that when when next I post a video, you'll be notified. Bye.